the holidays are about family. And so, in light of that, I decided to review a movie that embodies the magic of family. And not at all that I didn't want to spend the money by going to the theater. Instead, I waited for streaming. Not that at all. <clears throat> it's family. I think they bought it. Shush. <clears throat> so anyway, Encanto. Um, yeah, it's a pretty good movie. Uh, definitely worthy of being a Disney film. I mean, a classic Disney film. The lead is hilariously sarcastic and relatably insecure. The fact that she's the only member of the family who wasn't born with powers, because there are some uh, unpowered family members, but they are unpowered because they married into the family. Not because they weren't born without powers. Anyone born into the family had powers. Except her. And she relatably hides the fact that it's eating her up inside. Because we've all been there, seeing other people outside the family and in the family doing something cool and trying not to resent them because they can do something you can't and never could do. It's not easy. Um, humans can be selfish. And those who are gifted often are blinded to the resentment of others, which can be a dangerous thing. Um, especially when other people rely on the special person's gift, like the townspeople in this movie do. Yeah, they rely on the family. Almost to the point of being over-dependent, actually. Um, yeah, this, this film has a lot of subjects that hit home. Because it's not like with the X-Men. The family isn't hated or shunned or hunted because of their gifts. They basically babysit the town. <clears throat> and the family themselves are revealed to put so much pressure on themselves to the point where they're just barely holding it together mentally. And <clears throat> when their magic house, which is sort of alive, starts to come apart at the seams, um... It's up to the one powerless, born powerless family member who can be outside the problem and see what's really going on. Because it's not very cut and dry, the plot of this film. It's, it's got layers, and um, overall, this is something every family should watch, because... Every family is like this. Well, not really with the magic, but you know what I mean. Every family has the gifted and the not-so-gifted, and every family's got problems simmering just below the surface. <clears throat> and <clears throat> if people would just focus on mental health as well as physical health then maybe the cracks wouldn't be so severe. Um, the animation, by the way, is gorgeous. Um, basically, it's like stylized South American culture. Uh, heavy use of flowers, but not in an obnoxious way. Um, the animation itself is so crisp that... There are certain sections that look almost live action. I mean, it's like a tiny step below it being live action. I could see real actors doing this stuff. 
But honestly, I don't think mixing CGI with live action would look this good because it looks fantastic. It doesn't look cartoony at all. Um, in fact, I wouldn't be a bit surprised if the world of Encanto and the world of Moana actually were one and the same, and there was somehow a crossover in the near future. Hint, hint, Disney. <laughs> anyway, um, the music also is definitely something to behold, because it's a slice of, of South American flavor that does not give you heartburn. Even the songs, where everyone just starts singing randomly, are good because of the amazing South American style of music. Um, the message is timeless. Uh, mental health is important, and you shouldn't put too much pressure on yourself just for the sake of your relatives. And yeah, that's pretty much it. The hero is relatable. The family is relatable to all families. Um, the messages of mental health and not getting complacent or complicit. Uh, and not holding on too tightly to the past. And accepting that change happens and with change comes growth is timeless. This is something families can enjoy at Christmas, on Halloween, on Valentine's Day, on Arbor Day, on uh, Voting Day, on any day, really. This film is really, really good, and I'm glad it finally streamed so I could see it without having to pay. <clears throat> <clears throat> Who said that? Um... This is Mr. J, wishing everyone out there, all the families, including the families of one, a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays, and see you next year. <laughs>